and might be a perfect solution for someone like me. New to town, trying to figure out how I ended up at SeaWorld instead of the Pearl. Or it might just work for someone who's sick and tired of spending every Saturday night on the couch. Do I have to pay for this? That's probably your first reaction to a website charging for companionship. But Run a Friend says there weren't any companies catering to the friend market and that it's committed to platonic relationships. Very sketchy. They say it's platonic. They say it's just, you know, for people that want to go to the movies or grab coffee. Yeah, of course, definitely. I believe that too. Could you see, you believe both of them? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you think platonic right away? Yeah. You do? Kind of. Ah, a wing woman. Bake Looking for a wing woman? So I can rent a friend to, to like bake a cake for me? In theory, it's a great concept, providing a friend for the lonely. But there's one detail that was truly a deal breaker for the people I talked with. They don't ask for background checks. What do you think about that? Uh, hell no. How could you assume that like the person's just going to be friendly? Despite some skepticism, each of our interviewees could see some merit in the idea. I could see someone using that if you're like a solo traveler, like if you're traveling somewhere solo and then you just want to meet new people, kind of like meet up. Mm. Thank you. If you're willing to give it a try, it's $25 for a month, $70 for the year just to be a member. Reporting from the Pearl, Brian Bose, Spectrum News.